Let's go. Hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all. And this is just the beginning. Hello there, guys, and welcome to yet another video on Sepa Channel. Today's video is gonna be an unboxing of the FG101 Pro drone. Um, we don't know much about it when it comes to the uh, specifics and the reason for that is uh, we didn't want to look into it we wanted to kind of discover it and see exactly obviously as you can see in the box it does have a couple of features such as uh, gps auto return and uh, apparently also has an hd camera which we'll have to find out how much of an hd is because nowadays hd means many things so um we will want to also test it most probably in the second video and uh, you know, get uh, get a couple of shots from from the drone uh, from the drone itself. Let's open the box and see what's inside. <laughs> so we have this bag, which is nice. Um, it will be very helpful because when you want to travel, you can just take the entire bag with you like this, and you also have a handle on the top. We have a zipper here that goes all around almost and opening it like this and it does have an operating manual, the user manual. Um, we'll have to, well, read it maybe someday. Some legal parts, also some safety instructions and all that, how to use what where. Um, it's gonna have a remote, obviously. The drone itself, it will have a battery and also it will be operated using a mobile phone so you can see the image from the drone itself, as you can see here. So the remote is gonna have like a phone holder. And as far as I can see, you say something about 5G GPS. So I suppose that's how you're gonna connect to the drone and then it's gonna feed the image directly in the phone. This is like an image of what you're gonna see on the screen, I suppose, or what the drone is gonna show you. And the numbers in here are going to reflect whatever whatever information it will it will provide you. It looks like the manual is very in-depth and provides you lots of details. So for this one, usually we say, you know, no need to read the manual for most of the stuff, but for this one, I would say read it because once you have the drone in the air, you want to make sure it's gonna come back as well. It's not like uh, you can avoid these kind of things. So it's a Bakia GPS drone. I suppose that would be the name of the brand itself. I've seen also a couple of drones from from this from this company that they have like dual cameras. They have also a camera at the top, but we'll see. Let's put this aside, let's put this aside, let's take this off and see what we have. So, um, first things first, let's take out the remote. Now, the remote looks quite, well, simple. This will be the phone holder and then you have the joysticks as well. I suppose one of them is going to be for left, right, the other one is going to be for up, down. I'm not sure what are these for. Is it just to kind of hold it? Or are they removable? Okay. So I suppose you can do like this to get a bit of more grip. Something like this, which kind of makes sense. And then you're saving space for travel as well. It's not mandatory to use it because you can use it like this in this in this manner as well. I suppose these are the antennas. then well, we'll see what all these functions are going to do when we actually try it and this small display as far as we've seen in the manual it will just show you bits bits of information so uh, let's put this aside let's see what we have here <clears throat> magic accessory package it says here accessory package 
Let's see what we get as accessories. So I will assume this is a charging cable, most probably for the remote. So you fit it here, plug it, and then obviously gonna have to have like a USB charger or something like that. I'm very sure it's gonna work with any phone or any type of of plug-in, plug it, plug it, plug it. So like socket. So next one, screwdriver, a tiny little small one. Obviously, everything is tiny at this drone, which is good. You're gonna save space. Let's put it aside, and then we have a couple of oh, what is this? We have some screws. I will think this might be like spares, most probably, it, it, it will make sense, I think. And then these ones, I have no idea where they're gonna go, but I think we will find together, so let's put them aside. The screws, I'll just leave them in the bag because we don't want to lose them, so tiny. And then we have spares, which is good. <coughs> right. So let's see what's next. I'm thinking this should be batteries, lithium battery. So we have one lithium battery and we have a second lithium battery. So we get two batteries with that. Let's see how the battery looks actually. Let's open the package. It's not very heavy. I mean, it is obviously it's a battery, but Very nice package, to be honest. I like it. It will be good even in the future, you know, every time changing it to put the to put the batteries back in in this uh, uh, bag as well, just to kind of give it a bit of like additional protection and avoiding you know any water and all that. This is how the battery looks like. We'll find out together how it's gonna fit. Not sure what is this for, but. Again, we will find together. Tiny little batteries. So we'll have two batteries here. I'm quite sure none of the batteries are actually charged. Uh, or at least I'm assuming they, they are not charged. But now the next question will be, how do you actually charge the batteries? The chances might be that you'll have to insert the batteries. I don't know, it's like... What do we have missing here? Imagine if the actual charger is missing, which I think it might be. Mm, let's see. Second battery. I think we're missing the charger. Let's have a quick look on the manual. The manual should tell us where the battery is. Let's make some. The things clean. So let's see. Da, da, da. Plug. This was an adapter. Maybe the adapter was there. If you guys know by any chance if something is missing, hey, you know what? Let us know. It will be interesting to find out. It doesn't look like. Still, this should be here for a reason, I suppose, right? So I think that might be the plug, most probably, I don't know. And the last piece will be the drone itself. So let's see, how do we open this? I suppose we do this. And then the other one, we just open it like this. And then on the lower side, Open them up. Let's remove the protection. And it looks like this might be, you know what? I think this might be like a, a slot or something like that to insert a camera, a second camera. Huh? Might make sense. 
let's see. How do I open it? Yes, looks like this is a slot most probably for the second camera. Otherwise, I see no reason what, what else can you do with it, right? So, I'm assuming you can buy that afterwards. Now, we have a slot here for the batteries. And then, let's see how they're gonna fit. So, I'm not sure if you can see the pins inside. Maybe, the, maybe if there is enough light. So there are some pins and obviously those pins will have to, to fit here. So I'm just assuming the right way to insert it will be like this, which will kind of make sense. And it does. And then if you want to take it out, again, I think we'll be press on this. Try and take it out. Well, not much joy with that, is it? Oh yeah, it is actually. That's beautiful. Nice. All right, so we got this bit sorted. Now let's see what we have here. And here we have a camera. A unique camera, they say. All right, so uh, this is how the drone looks like. The battery is inserted inside. Also, we found out how to charge the battery. You have this, um, what is it, micro USB. Uh, that you can charge it directly, so the same technique applies. You obviously insert it here, nice. Doesn't look like, oh no, you insert it, and then to any type of plug that has a USB, and that's how you charge the batteries. Uh, also, we have turned on the remote. The remote looks like this. As we said, it has a couple of details in here that will tell you, well, I suppose it's just gonna tell you information about the drone and we'll find out how to connect it and how it actually works and once we're gonna figure that out we're going to make a video about it as well but anyway guys thank you very much for watching obviously if you have any questions regarding the drone itself feel free to drop them in the uh, comment section we are going to try it, test it out see how it works and all the good bits and you know we're gonna shoot a few videos with the drone as well to kind of you know, showcase the, the quality of the camera and also the functionalities. I believe chances might be that there will be some sort of a software or something like that that will go together with, yeah, there is an app that needs to be downloaded. So we're going to do that and show you how to actually get in, you know, set up and running. But that's going to be in a second video. So yeah, see you guys.